All right, it ain't going to take me as long to talk about the main event as it did Moxley to come in from the parking lot. John Moxley, the CEO of Moxley Plumbing versus Minoru Suzuki, Japanese MMA legend, 50-something years old. And as we mentioned before, this just, as Jim Hurd would say, was dropped in out of a helicopter last week. And I could tell they were in trouble when they went on the air at 14 minutes till the hour, and it took Moxley three full minutes to get in from the parking lot. They were trying not to let this go too long. And they shouldn't have. And they didn't succeed. I'm going to tell you what this match was, and then, Brian, you tell me if I've misrepresented anything to people. The bell rang, and they stood in the middle of the ring and traded forearms one after the other in a slow and deliberate pace while asking each other to hit the other one back. 16 forearms, eight from each guy, plus two big boots to the face, and nobody even went to a knee. Most of the shit looked like it barely connected, nobody sold anything. Then Suzuki broke loose with 10 quote-unquote palm strikes that looked like the sequel to Sissy Boy Slap Fight, and Moxley never even bent over from those, and then Moxley fired back with three forearms, and Suzuki staggered to the ropes and bent over, and they went to the break. I said, what the fuck is this? I didn't get all Japan tapes in the 80s for the giant Baba matches, but he was better than this then. I wanted to see Tatsumi F- Fujinami on a regular basis, not when he was 61 years old. They come back from the break. Minoru Suzuki actually hit the ropes a couple of times to get some steam up to throw a kick. Moxley's best spot was biting Suzuki's face, so Suzuki turned around and bit his. Then they stood in the ring and traded fake headbutts. And when I say fake headbutts, I'm saying fake headbutts. Either the deal where you can get by with one if you're like Terry Funk used to be great with the one, grab the guy's head, boom, and everybody sells and you're fine. But when you're doing them deliberately to each other back and forth and not selling them, they look more phony, including when they did the double freestanding headbutt. And if you slow mode it, you saw them close their eyes and pull their heads up and then go boop. And then they traded the forearm. They did the forearm spot again. More of them. Then Moxley tried to charge at him and and clothesline him, but Suzuki didn't want that because he wanted to throw another forearm, so Suzuki just turned in and didn't sell the clothesline. And then he hit another forearm, and then he ducked a clothesline and snatched a sleeper on Moxley, but when he fucking put the sleeper on him and pulled Moxley in, he pulled the back of Moxley's head into his own right eye and busted himself open with the back of Moxley's head and within seconds was bleeding like a stuck hog. But he did it himself. Suzuki went for the gotch pile driver. Moxley back dropped him out, hit what was supposed to be his paradigm shift double arm DDT, but he always takes it easy on these old Japanese guys that their bodies are so broken down you can't drop them on their fucking head. So it looked shitty. Then he hit a clothesline on Suzuki. Suzuki kicked out. Then Moxley hit two more clotheslines. And Suzuki just came up and hit a drop kick. And Suzuki now stand Moxley selling. Suzuki standing up. He's bleeding. I wrote, who is this match supposed to be getting over? This cult figure from Japan that has an ardent and small following is on national TV in America beating up a former WWE champion that's supposed to be one of the big stars of their company. And then Moxley threw a couple of shoot punches that are since they're supposed to be shooting, and this is supposed to be shoot-style wrestling, and all of it looked phony. And he threw the shoot punches, one of which looked like a potato, the second one missed completely, and then grabbed Suzuki and gave him a regular double-arm suplex and just dropped him over flat of his back. And that was the finish, one, two, three. So he beat this feared shooter with a regular double-arm suplex that wasn't even that impressive for a double-arm suplex. 
And then he left the ring and went out into the crowd and luxuriated in his hometown love because he went all over the arena from one side to the other for a while because apparently they went home <laughs> with a lot of time still left on television. And him and the crowd was better than that fugly fucking match. Your thoughts? Not too much to add to that. I want to wrap this shit is up. Is that what I saw? That is what you saw. It was a horrible match. It never got going. I thought it was a timing thing, but then they gave Moxie three minutes to just parade around the building at the end. I don't know what that was. I'm going to upset some fans here, and there are fans who accuse me of being a massive AEW mark, and then there are other fans that accuse me of being the biggest AEW hater. It's funny. Well, I'll offend someone with this. John Moxley's the most boring wrestler in AEW. He bores the shit out of me. His whole act. And I'm it's not an arguing. Act. He just bores the hell out of me. And the first hour and 15 or so of this show, not perfect. There were things I didn't love and there were things I loved. It was great. And then the Elite and this last match, I fucking hated. And those are my closing thoughts. I don't, I just don't, don't understand what people are looking at when they look at a match like Moxley and Suzuki and think, wow, this, it's like, yes, if you had Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle and you were able to put them on the ball field again, but they're still 90 years old or they're reanimated corpses and they're falling all over themselves trying to run. Would that be an enjoyable experience? Do you want to see the legends like that? I, I don't. I don't know what they were looking at here, and I don't know what they're trying to do. And if New Japan wants to be their partner, is there any wrestlers in New Japan that are under the age of 50 that they might send over that would have a different kind of match with Moxley than the same kind of match he has every single time he gets in the ring? Those are questions that I ask. I don't want to see Mox. Uh, whatever. They're going to keep doing this because he has a New yeah. Japan deal. But I just, I'm tired of Moxley. He's such a boring fucking just, wrestler. Him and the Bucks, record a match and then just play it every week because it's going to be the same thing. They never change. 